in the winter of 1944. With overtaxed supply lines in the Ardennes, a medic in the German army had completely run out of plasma, bandages, and antiseptic. During one particularly bad round of mortar fire, his encampment was a bloodbath. Those who survived claimed to have heard above the screams of the wounded and barked commands of their lieutenant, someone cackling with almost girlish glee. The medic had made his rounds during the fire in almost complete darkness as he had so many times before, but never had he been able to do it on such short supplies. This was no matter, however. He would do his duty. He had always prided himself on his resourcefulness. The bombardment moved to other ends of the line, and most men dropped off to sleep in the dark, still hours until morning. On New Year's Day of 1945, the men awoke at first light with screams. They discovered that their bandages were not typical bandages at all, but hunks of stripped human flesh. Several men had been given fresh blood transfusions, yet there had been no blood supplies available. Each treated man was almost completely covered, head to toe, with the maroon stain of blood. The medic was found sitting on an ammunition tin, staring off into space. When one man approached him and tapped him on the shoulder, his tunic fell off to reveal that large patches of his skin, muscle, and sinew had been stripped from his torso and his body was almost completely dried of blood. In one hand, was a scalpel, and in the other, a blood transfusion vial. None of the men treated for their wounds that night saw the end of January 1945.